family this is a video that I shot for a group of children um, that will be working that I'm gonna be working with um, through a church program where they're learning how to grow food in containers um, I thought that this was kind of an important message not just for them but for all gardeners so I hope you enjoyed it's not like my usual video but this is a very exciting project so if you have children that are learning how to grow things, you know, just gather them around as well. And hopefully they can get something from it. All right, family, peace. Peace, family. And peace to all the children and young people who are watching. My name is Michael. Uh, some people know me as the VA Growing Gardener. Some people call me VA for short. You can call me either one. I wanted to talk to you today because I was very excited to hear that you all would be learning how to plant and grow your own food. That's a wonderful thing to do. Uh, so I wanted to take a minute just to talk to you real quick about how important gardening is, but more important than that, how important you are as a gardener. Now, whether you are doing this for the first time or you know maybe you've done this before with your parents, even those of you who plant things yearly and you're able to grow things in your sleep, this message is also for you. Do you know what the very first occupation or job was that God gave the human being to do? It wasn't being a police officer. It wasn't being a firefighter. It wasn't being a doctor. It was gardening. Isn't that something? How many of you have heard or read the creation story? If you're familiar with the creation story, raise your hand. I've read it, I've heard it. Um, for those of us who are familiar with it, or if you're not, the creation story talks about how God created the heavens and the earth. He created uh, the darkness, he created light. He created day and night. He created the waters, he created the land, and he separated the waters and the land. He created animals and he created this beautiful garden. He, after he created everything, he looked at everything and he said, it's good. But he took a close look at the garden that he created and he said, well, there's nobody here that is able to take care of it. So what did he do? He said, let us make a man. Isn't that something? Out of everything that God created, he looked at that garden that he loved and he decided to make a man to take care of that garden. So not only did he make a man, now let me pause for a minute. When I say man, I'm gonna say human being instead of that because I'm not talking about man in the sense of male. I don't mean he created a boy or a man. He made a human being. He made human beings, men and women. So girls are uh, included in this as well. But not only did he make a human being to take care of that garden that he loved, he made a human being that was like him. You know, it says in the book that he made a human being that was in his image and likeness. That doesn't mean that he just looked like God. That means that he had the potential to be a miniature version of God. And he breathed life into him to make him, to animate him, to bring him to life so that he can move around in the garden and take care of the garden. So that's very important. That's very important to think about and it's very important to, to remember. You know, God made a human being. He made a miniature version of himself 
to take care of a garden that he loved very much. So how much did he love the human that he created that he would make him like himself to take care of this garden? That's something that's very important. That means that you are important. Now, when you're gardening, gardening doesn't just mean that you're planting things. Gardening can also mean that you're taking care of the earth. If you, you know, remember not to litter, that's gardening. If you pick up trash when you see it, that's gardening. You know, when you cut your grass or you take care of your neighbor's yard, that's gardening as well. But planting your own food so that you and your family will have something to eat, that's a very special thing to do. That's something that God asked us to do. So what I want you to do, first of all, is remember that you're very important, that the job that you're doing when you're learning how to garden is a very important job. So my assignment for you is as you are planting, when you pick up your seed, I want you to pray. I want you to pray that God will bless the seed, that he'll bless the soil, that he'll even bless your container or your pot or even the ground that you're using to plant that seed in. I want you to thank him for the water that nourishes that seed. Thank him for the sun that gives that seed and that gives the human being vitamins that you can't really get out of a capsule. Always pray when you plant your food, when you plant your seed, pray for it. And as it grows, continue to pray for it and ask him to bless you in your obedience. When you are planting and you're gardening, that's obedience to God himself. So I want you to remember to do that. And as you watch your seed become a healthy plant, just continue to thank him for blessing you. And every time you plant something, every time you pick up a piece of litter, I want you to ask him to bless your efforts, to bless your obedience, and to bless the earth and the garden that he gave us to take care of. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for listening. And I'm really looking forward to us working together. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them all for you. Thank you. God bless and peace.